Welcome back to Haunted and Historic Australia for another episode in our adventures series. In this week's episode, we take a look at Lord's Chapel, which is located on Seven Hills Road near Kings Langley and just before Old Windsor Road. <laughs> on many occasions, I've driven past this location and admired the old church or chapel and wondered when it was built and why it was built. What is it used for and how old is the grounds? And why are there two churches? Well, it is quite the story. It's amazing what stories you can unearth when you dig a little deeper. It's amazing that you can be passing a piece of history and not even know it. I realised that when I was going to Liverpool TAFE for a year and didn't even know the history behind it. All those lost opportunities I could have had filming inside. But we're still going to check that out too. But we thought we'd check out these wonderful churches called Lord's Estate. And there's a bit of a background story to it. You see, there was a family called the Pierce family. And they've got their own little cemetery that we're going to investigate as well. But they named the area Kings Langley. It was donated to the church in the 1800s and still today hold Presbyterian, Pentecostal or Latin Masses. In 1863, a small Gothic-style hall was built on the site, consisting of brick walls and a corrugated iron roof, which, when I checked out the brick at the bottom, it does look like convict brick. It's got the chips on the side of the brick that look much like the convicts used to do. On the 13th of October in 1880, the larger Gothic-style chapel, which is now used for weddings, was consecrated. The chapel features cedar beam arches and panelled ceilings, stained glass and lead light full-length windows, vestry and a cellar. With the opening of the new chapel, the original building became the church hall. They both look lovely and people have weddings there all the time. Original timber floors, magnificent cedar arches oh. and high ceilings. Unfortunately, some of the windows on the church have been boarded up. Let's come past here. But it still is very nice. It doesn't look as though they use this particular church anymore. It's nice with the little gum trees. Are these gum trees? Yeah, I think so. Eucalyptus tree. breaking a little bit. <laughs> Loves that dog. It's an old fence that used to be there. Remnants hidden in the scrub. <laughs> but there was a lovely little dog that 
came up to greet us and we thought she was beautiful. She followed us around for a little while and then went about her way. But walking around the grounds, you get that sense of history. In 1891, there was a rectory built behind, a large two-storey Victorian-style residence with magnificently proportioned rooms bathed in timeless elegance, as per their website. The historic downstairs rooms are available for more intimate gatherings, including an arched hallway, an airy drawing room, and a deep blue and gold dining room, with a groom's room known as the whiskey room. We did try and have a little look at the rectory, nice but it does place. appear that there were people there at the time, so we didn't really want to get too close and invade anyone's <laughs> property. I wish I could get down there and record, but there's someone sitting there. Let's see if I can get it over the way. Looks old. Beautiful view from here. That's better. Let's see a little bit more of the old rectory up there. Chair. Well, I'm leaving. So. Oh. Old. I wonder who owns all this land. It's not really anything happening. All kind of slopes right down. As it is on the main road, Seven Hills Road, it is quite noisy there. But if you walk further down near the rectory, there's a little park area that's quite serene and it has a beautiful view over toward the Parramatta area. A cute little area you could sit down and just take in the beauty as well as the history. Hmm.
we really enjoyed having a wander around the Lord's estate. And it just gives us a great idea of of what kind of people were in the area. The church was originally St Andrew's Church of England, but now they welcome all denominations to hire it out. And weddings, of course, on their beautiful grounds and at the rectory, which we didn't get a chance to see this time, but we're thinking we might even book the place at some time in the near future and just perhaps wander the grounds at night time because you get that feeling, 1860s, there must have been a lot going on and we want to know if anyone is still here. But we hope you enjoyed this episode. Definitely give it a like if you did and subscribe as well if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're aware when we're posting more adventures. Aussie made.